What's going on guys? T-Mart here and welcome to episode 1 of the Black Ops 3 Jumps and Wall Run Spots series. Yes, that is right guys, we are back. This series is back after a long hiatus, one of my favorite series I've ever done, dating all the way back to like Black Ops 1 and stuff like that. Uh, it's back! We're back for Black Ops 3 and uh, we're going to be better than ever. So hopefully you guys are excited, thumbs up if you guys are. And uh, today we are going to be taking a look at some of the best jumps and wall run spots on the map Aquarium in Black Ops 3. So we're starting off over here on the uh, the kind of bay side, the bay spawn of the map. And uh, we are going to uh, to get it going. So the first thing I want to show you guys is a quick little line of sight to see if people are flanking around over on your uh, your right over here. So this is obviously a, a very you know common lane of the map. This is the, the left side of the map. So a lot of people will come up like this, pushing like this. And if you happen to spawn and want to check to see if people are coming that way, you can actually come back to the very back of the spawn. You can hop up on this ledge and look at that. You have a full view of that entire corner right there that people funnel through. So that's a pretty good spot, especially for assault rifles and snipers, if you guys want to hold down that flank. Now, uh, moving on, this right here is a, uh, a pretty interesting thing. You guys can see it's like a giant ship riding a wave in front of a lighthouse. It's pretty majestic. But uh, it doesn't really serve too much of a purpose. You can't get up on top of it, but what you can do is you can use these little poles here as, uh, as cover, these little, you know, kind of like dock things. So you can like use this, you can come around here and use this to look down this way, you can use it to look this way, you can use it to look up into the, uh, the center, you know, kind of like spawn building, this is a really good one. You can use it to go the other way too, so you can kind of like push into the spawn if you want to do it that way. So just use this thing to your advantage, it's like the perfect uh, kind of like head glitch height because people can't see anything but the very tippity top of your head. And, uh, and you can mess them up pretty good. So uh, that's pretty good. Now, uh, another decent spot is right here. If you think people are going to be coming from the middle, pushing your spawn, this is a decent spot as well as you can kind of use this the same way. But uh, let's move on. So coming through here through the reptile exhibit, one thing I want to show you guys is a lot of the little exhibits in this because it's meant to be like an aquarium. Like there's a reptile exhibit, there's a, a fish, like aquarium exhibit and stuff like that. Uh, they're like these little pools in the corners of the rooms. You guys want to make sure you take advantage of those. So what I want to show you guys here is let's pretend we're the enemy right now. Pretend you're an enemy and you're coming around this way and you're looking to go into the other team's spawn. Your main focus is going to be right here. You're going to be focused on going towards this doorway. So if you were going to push out and an enemy was there, what would you rather do? Push out like this, which this isn't a bad head glitch, I guess, but uh, would you rather push out like this or if you're in here, would you rather go under like this and then pop up? You're going to take him by surprise right there. He's definitely not going to expect to be there. His main focus and his main kind of goal is going to be to get through this doorway. So going through that is going to be a big advantage for you. So make sure you guys use that whenever you get the option. Same thing as if, if you want to traverse this entire thing. You can kind of stay against the ledges, stay in cover, stay in cover, stay in cover, and then wha-bam, pounce like a tiger, and uh, you're good to go. So obviously that's pretty good. This is also a pretty good spot right here. If you guys look, you can climb up on this. You can see that entire, you know, kind of like lake area, see people swimming, as well as people coming around that corner. You can even hop up and get a nice little line of sight into there if you guys want to. So uh, that, uh, that's pretty solid. Now, right here, Nemo is a, uh, a very good uh, kind of like, you know, head glitch spot right here. A lot of people use him. It's a pretty obvious one. You can kind of uh, cut off both sides of the map like that, so that's pretty useful. We're not going to go in there yet. That's the center of the map. We'll show you guys that towards the end. Uh, one thing I do want to show you guys is there are a lot of different spots on a ton of different maps where you can just use wall running, like a quick wall run like this. And that gives you a huge advantage. There's actually a, uh, a pretty good one over here, I believe. So, you know, say you're pushing into the enemy team spawn. If you run like this, rather than just running around the corner and going like this, you're going to take them by a lot more surprise if you run and jump like this. Like you're going a lot faster, you're coming from a different angle, stuff like that. They aren't going to expect it. Same thing right here. Rather than coming around this corner like this, you can do this. And that's going to take them by surprise. So I recommend you guys look into, uh, into doing things like that. Now, moving on, I'm going to show you guys another one of those little uh, kind of like cubby hole spots to, uh, to, to drop down into the water. I actually, I kind of, I kind of lost. Oh, we're, we're in the wrong, the wrong part. I kind of lost right here. So we're, we're meant to go this way. So uh, over here in the 54 I room is what I'm going to call it. It's like yellow. It's got the 54 I all over it. This has another little water cut behold that not a lot of people know about. Like you know about it if you see it from here, but when you're looking at it from the pool, 
you don't really see it. Like you see how it's kind of tucked away back there. It's kind of dark, so it's kind of hard to see. So that's a pretty good one if you guys want to, uh, to be able to get more towards the middle of the map very quickly. That's, set, that's pretty good. Now there's another little kind of special thing about this pool I'm gonna tell you guys in a second. The first thing I wanna show you guys is this right here is a very obvious wall run spot. This is the one that they kind of built into the map expecting you to use. So you can use this to completely bypass the pool and uh, get around to the other side without stepping foot in the pool and getting wet. So that's obviously pretty useful. You can use it both ways. So just use that to your heart's content. Although just know that a lot of people will expect you to be doing that because that's a very obvious wall run spot. Now, what I really want to show you guys here, what's really interesting about this one is this waterfall right here. So uh, this waterfall cuts off this little kind of like cave grotto type thing. And it's just kind of like a little cubby hole of this pool. It doesn't really, you know, do much for traversal. But one thing I want to show you guys is when you're inside of this cave, look how easy it is to see out into the pool. You can pretty much see everything. There's a little bit of blurriness from the waterfall, but there's not much. But if we go to the other side of this thing, we're going to get our breath back. You guys are going to see there's a lot more distorted in there. It's a lot harder for them to see you than it is for you to see them. So just keep that in mind. You know, if you're in here, you have an advantage over the rest of the pool because it's harder to see you. If you're out there, make sure you look extra, extra closely at this waterfall area because oftentimes there'll be an enemy in there that's a little bit tougher to see. So uh, just keep that in mind. Now, uh, anyway, moving on here, we're gonna be looping around back towards the uh, the original spawn that I showed you guys. That's kind of like the uh, the little spot that you peek out at. That's the, the kind of line of sight I showed you guys right at the start of the map. Uh, one thing I do want to tell you guys about, it's kind of like a cheeky little wall run spot. It's really not the most useful thing in the world. I have used it a couple of times successfully, but uh, it's not like it's, it's a do or die. Like, there are a lot of cheeky little spots that are really useful in this game. On this map, not so much, but you can use this one just in case. So if you think people are in the spawn or if you know they're in the spawn and they're kind of head glitching, like a lot of people will sit like this and like sit like this and watch the buildings and stuff. If you know they're in there, there is something you guys can do. So what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to wall run past this line right here. So this part of the wall can't be run on. I'm not sure why, but uh, you can once you get past that. So you're gonna run, jump, do a couple of quick little boosts. Boom, there you go. You're gonna boost your way to the waves, get a couple extra boosts. You're gonna be able to hop up like this and boom, all of a sudden you're behind enemies. It's a little bit difficult. It's not that difficult. It's a little bit difficult. You could also do it the other way if you wanted, but I really don't see a reason for that. But uh, yeah, so it, it, you know, if people are camping in the spawn, you can use that. Like I said, it's not the most you know kind of like game ending thing in the world. There are a lot of other little spots like that on other maps. It's actually really, really useful for flank routes. But I just want to show it to you guys in case the situation ever arises where you would need to use it. Now, finally, let's move into the center of the map. So you guys can see here, this is the center. You got big whales and all kinds of stuff going on. It's a, uh, a pretty sweet area. And I'm going to show you guys a couple of good wall run spots that, uh, that I've found. So one is if I'm coming from this side over here and I want to get up into that, uh, that window room, rather than just like running across the middle like this or running across the middle like this, the obvious thing to do, what I'll do is when you come through here, you can actually jump up like this. You can wall run all the way around and then you can come across like that and boom, you're in the window. So it's a lot faster, it's a lot safer if somebody's coming through like uh, like this, they're not gonna see you up there. Like They would see you otherwise, but they're not really gonna see you up there. As well as if somebody's in the window, typically they're gonna be looking down towards the ground. So when you come up, like out from around the corner like this, you can just start shooting them and you have you know kind of the jump on them. So it's pretty useful, it's pretty good. Uh, that's a solid one. Another one I'll use is if I'm trying to come up these stairs, Rather than just running up the stairs like this, which is what somebody expects you to do, you can approach it with a wall run. So you just kind of go like this and then boom, look at that. You can wall run this all the way around and then boom, you kind of fly around the corner and it's a great uh, great way to get the jump on the enemies, which is, uh, is pretty useful. And one little one I did forget to mention, it's kind of cool to do, it's not really useful, but you guys can see the windows up here. You can, uh, can kind of run like this and then get up there and look at this. You can go all the way around town, bring it around, all the way around, but then you get blocked on the whales. So uh, yeah, there you guys have it. That, my friends, is the map Aquarium. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This one is, I don't know, I'd say like average, maybe a little bit below average in terms of the uh, the spots that it has. Uh, some of the, the upcoming maps are going to have a ton of awesome wall run spots that you guys are, are going to learn about from this series. So I'm really looking forward to it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys later. Peace out.